I'm going to go over a uh, easy way that you can get your documents from dot loop to command, assuming that you already have a loop with everything signed and it is after Monday, June 15th, when the office is going to be only looking in compliance and command at your documents. And we previously discussed there's a way that you can download each of your documents from dot loop as PDFs and upload them into command. And um, this is a different tool that will allow you to skip that step. So the first most important thing for this to work is that your dot loop account is also synced to your command. So similar to when you set up your DocuSign account, you will hit connect more apps, search for dot loop, and then connect your account here with the email that you use in our office dot loop account. Many of you probably already did this back in the fall when we first started talking about this, but if not, this is where you'll connect to your dot loop account. You want to make sure that it is the same email address that you used for dot loop that you connect here. Okay. Now I showed you before this example is assuming that you already have a loop in place with all the forms needed for the transaction signed by your client and ready to be reviewed. So I'm going to leave this tab up so that we can reference it later. Now back to command, I'm going to start a new opportunity. You might already have one for this buyer, but if you don't and you haven't submitted a commission yet, we're going to say new opportunity. I am going to have a buyer. I'm going to use my sister as my buyer. We're going to call this Selena Coming Buyer Main Street because I know that's where she bought on. Okay, and commission rate is what is required. Okay, I'm going to create my opportunity. Now you're probably familiar with this page. This is what uh, the opportunity looks like when you first start and you can add more information here and um, fill out more about your contact, etc. But we're going to go to the documents tab, which is where the checklists are over here on the left and hit start a transaction. If you have both DocuSign and dot loop, uh, connected to your command account, you're going to get the option for both. If this was a brand new transaction, we'd be going into DocuSign to write it, but this is an existing transaction with all of our forms already in dot loop. So I'm going to se select dot loop. That will only come up if you've already connected your profile to your command settings. Okay, so this allows me to say what kind of dot loop template I want. But if I choose one of these, it's going to pull in blank forms for the listing and purchase templates or lease um, and listing for lease. So I'm going to say blank loop. I don't need it to pull in any documents. Choose the dot loop template. As you see over here, it's spinning. And now it's connected to a dot loop. And I'm going to say go to transaction. And what you're going to see here is it's going to open up a window in dot loop. It calls my loop what my opportunity was called. You see that this was called Selena coming buyer on Main Street and when I created a loop through command it called it Selena coming buyer Main Street and I selected blank loop so no documents are here okay now it's important that we kept this tab open the whole time so I know that I need these documents in this new loop that's connected to my opportunity so that I can bring it in quicker to command so that it can be reviewed by the office so what I'm gonna do in the original loop is select all the documents that I need, and it might not be every one. So you could say, oh, I don't need the checklist or the promissory note, because you might actually have a copy of the earnest money check, et cetera. And what you're gonna say is I wanna make a copy of these documents. This is from the original loop. You're gonna keep it as a dot loop document. You're, um, another way you could do it as a, as a flat PDF, but we're gonna keep it as a dot loop document, and I'm gonna say I wanna copy it to another loop. So we're gonna say to loop. And then I'm gonna search. And I know I just called that new loop, Selena coming by your main street. It pops right up. I'm going to select it. If I had other folders, they would be options, but I just have the documents folder in that loop. I'm going to say copy to that loop. There you go. You see it's copying all these documents. It imported 12 of 12. Okay. Now I can refresh this new loop that was in this other tab created from command. Here's everything here. And now let's go back into commands. I'm going to sync the transaction so that it knows what was just added to the loop that it's synced to. And now I can say add file. I want to search dot loop. And all those documents that I just copied from that original loop are here now. So this is, saves you a ton of time. So here we'll do purchase agreement, assign, and it 
saves you from having to, in this first loop, you would have to download a PDF and then maybe go into command and upload a PDF. But if you create a loop through command, which is this one right here, and then in your original loop, select what you need, hit make a copy, find this loop, which is just a search, and then in command, you're gonna sync your transaction, and then you can say, okay, I need to add my file, agency disclosure, I wanna search dot loop, and all those forms that you copied from the original loop that have all of the signatures for your client, you can just bring over, and that is going to be the fastest way at this time before your documents are written in DocuSign that you'll be able to get them into command for compliance purposes, which starts on Monday, June 15th. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.